TLE6 Agriculture Scientific processes of propagating trees and fruit trees Learning tasks A review Who can identify the functions of the different tools and equipment used in plant propagation? Be learning episode 1 A motivation Class, do you know the different scientific processes in plant propagation? What are these scientific processes? We are already in the modern era as defined in the breakthrough of technology in our lives. Different aspects to our way of living was improved because of technology. Modern technology and research have gone a long way especially in the field of agriculture. Trees grow faster, healthier and stronger. Fruit bearing trees are able to bear fruits within a very short span of time. Some can bear fruits all year round. These advancements are possible because of the use of the scientific processes in plant propagation. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to identify the different scientific processes in plant propagation. Be probe and respond. 1. Prerequisite skills. Class, what you are about to see are plants propagated using different scientific processes. Observe each picture and share your observation later to the class. See learning episode 2, Modeling. Class, let us identify the different scientific processes in plant propagation. Observe the differences and the details on each process. So, are you ready? Propagating trees using scientific processes. Marcotting or air layering. Induces the stem to develop roots while it is still growing on the mother plant. Grafting. A plant propagation method that involves inserting a scion into a stalk so that they will form a union and grow together. Budding. The process of transferring the lateral bud taken from the scion to the stalk of the same family. Layering. A process wherein an uncut branch or a shoot touches the ground or soil, develops roots, and becomes an independent plant. In arching, a process where the scion is united with its rootstock. This is done by selecting a growing rootstock and fitting it with a branch that will be grafted by means of longitudinal cut. D-Learning Episode 3, Group Work. Class. I will divide you into five groups. Now find your group mate quietly. Here's the activity sheet for you to input your answer and also the materials needed for you to accomplish the task. Please do it quietly as I go around. Then, don't hesitate to ask me if you need my help if there's something you are in doubt in accomplishing your work. While roaming around the classroom I'm going to check your work if it is correct or not.
E-Learning Episode 4, Independent Practice Class, for your individual activity, you identify the scientific way of propagation as described below. Write your answers on the blank provided before each number. F wrapping up Class, can you identify the scientific processes in propagating plants? Do you need cooperation in doing the tasks given to you as a group? Why?